Welcome to Bear Tech Presents. This is Mr. Rocha, and in today's lesson, we're going to show you how to publish your website for the very first time. So, for many of you, actually for just about all of you, um, you're going to publish your website for the very first time. And in order to do that, you need to come along here and you need to click on Publish. Now, when I click on Publish, it's going to publish it and a box is going to open up and inside of that box um, it'll say it'll have the website address that I created okay so so here it is let me publish it and this is the box that I get when I um, publish my website this is my web address I created that I created this Bear Tech Bytes. Weebly added on the subdomain of Weebly.com. But for those of you who have not published your website, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your website. So I need it. I will need to create a, a new website. You don't need to create a new website. You just need to stay where you are. I just wanted to show you what a published website, how, how a published website will um, look or react when you click on publish. Okay, so for a lot of you when you log in for the very first time you get this, right? And, I, and what I've told you in the past is to close that out, build your website, work on it, and don't worry about publishing it. But now you're ready to publish it because you've completed it. You've got your five pages, you've got your content, it's been designed, it looks nice, it is the best you that uh, you can present to the world. So what you're going to do is you're going to click, you are going to click on publish, and you get this choose your website domain, and this is where you're going to put in the name of your website. Again, be creative. <clears throat> Excuse me, be creative in in coming up with your name. You can you can put in you know uh, you can use your first and last name, but that's uh, don't do that. Do not. I would I would strongly. Um, discourage you from doing that. Take a moment to think about what you want your website to be called. Okay? Make it a catchy name. Creative. Okay? So, I like technology. So, here are some possible possibilities in here that have, you know, that I've used in the past. Um, so, let's just go How about not tech well, how about this one? Not Nacho Tech. Nacho Tech. Get it? That's Nacho Nacho Tech thing. There you go. Nacho Tech. And it tells me immediately if my website subdomain is available on Weebly. So once you're done with that, you click on continue. And now your website has been published. If you were to go to nachotechthing.weebly.com, you would see my website. And the reality is, is once I'm done with this, I'm going to delete this website, and that and that web URL will be available. That subdomain on Weebly will be available because I'm going to delete it after this tutorial video. But that is how you publish a website. And if you click on it, it will take you. To your website. Here's my website. And look what it says. Nachothing.weebly.com. Alright. So this is how you publish your website. Hope this helps. Don't forget to get your websites published and turned into me. You have to turn in this URL. Universal routing language. This URL has to be turned into me on Teams.